Welcome back there, Sugar Plum. So, one of my baby doll baby cake buttercups asked me, how do you know your community is growing from the charts? How can you gather it? And a simple streamlined answer is to chart your coin or your asset against Bitcoin. Put it on a log chart and observe the full history. The coin I have up here is a coin called XRP, right? Owned by a company Ripple. Wink, wink. They don't tell you that they have that, but you know what's up. You you know what's up, baby dolls. So very interesting. This is lifetime chart. Goes from 2013. This is XRP BTC. You should never be charting against the US dollar. Always look against Bitcoin. We'll tell you the truth. See, if I, I'm going to quickly go, I'm just going to type in XRP USD. You have no idea what's really going on. I can just put a monthly chart and I can have a look at the history and you think, whoa, it's gone up. Wow. Have a look at that. It's up 82X. What are you whinging about? This is 82X since August 2013. This does not tell the full story. You have to chart it against Bitcoin. B. TC. And if you can't chart it, you've got to manually construct it. This is XRP BTC. I've actually got it on a log chart here and you can see there is no difference. It is being doing that. I have put a water pistol emoji here as a reminder to tell you, put it down. I come to you in peace. I am not, I'm not making anything up here. Everything I'm telling to you is on the chart. It's like I'm reading a book. I'm reading the words out of the book. Don't blame me, blame the book. This chart is saying that Ripple has been grifting you for 10 years. Okay. Once again, I am just reading a book. If you don't like what the book says, go take it up with the English Oxford Dictionary people, whoever make the invent the words these days, because I am not telling you any of my opinion. Zero value add. 10 years, 10 years, nowhere. Zero value add, zero. Absolutely zero. So why does this happen? Well, what happens is the XRP tokens get unlocked, but they don't go to the XRP community. They don't have a staking feature. In Bitcoin, you can mine Bitcoin. In Ethereum, you can be a validator and you can stake it. In Hex, you can stake it too. Pulse Chain, you can have a validator. You know the drill. But in XRP, the escrow on the chain gets unlocked to Ripple. They go to their market makers and they sell at 30% market price. Once again, I'm gonna put this water pistol emoji back up because I can already feel it. I know there's a lot of people, you're just aiming it at me right now, please. This is truth. I'm not making any of this up. Their words, not mine. They go, they conduct market operations. They use these nerd words, don't listen to that, okay? They go to the market and they dump it below. 30% below. So if the XRP price is 40 cents, let's say just randomly it was 40 cents, that means they give it to a market maker for 28 cents. So if they unlocked like 10 million XRP, right? It's much more than that. They would give it to them. They'd collect $2.8 million from the market maker. But then now the market maker owns 10 million XRP. So what do they do? go do? They go to like, they go to Bitstamp, they go to Binance, they go to any of the exchanges and they start slowly selling and trying to sit on the offers and just let everybody, the retailers, absorb them. That's how they get paid. Now, they could just go and hit market, but the book's too thin. You can't do that all the time. That's how they get rid of it. So most people don't know this. This is, this is what happens. So I'm going to play devil's advocate though. So by the way, when I say devil's advocate, you can't excuse this chart. I don't care who you are. You got to have a straight back. All right, anybody who thinks this chart means you've had value added to yourself for 10 years, that means you're wearing crumpled slippers, you have a hunched back, I don't think your elbows are as pointy as you tell me, and you're not wearing your mittens today. Extreme penalties going through my mind right now when I'm thinking about the 10 years that you could have been in other coins. This is absolutely crazy. So once again, please, water pistols down. I'm not teaching you anything different or new. This is this is the charts, man, the charts. See, this chart goes down. And look, you're going to ask me, okay, what would, what would the options be? Well, look at this. Okay, so Ripple gets the tokens of XRP. Your, your job as a holder is to do research and say, okay, what do I think 
or speculate. What do I speculate Ripple will do with the money generated from those tokens? So everybody in the XRP community would believe that Ripple are going to give them adoption. And they tried, man. Are you using XRP payment? Do you want to go gamble on the XRP chain? No. Okay, so I'll just ask you that. So firstly, 10 years, not going anywhere so far. Maybe the next 10 years is different, but right now, no value add. So this has not added any value on top of Bitcoin. It's just sat there sucking the liquidity back and forth. Nothing so far. I hope, I hope, man, by the time you see this video, I mean, I hope in the future this just does this. I, I, I'm doing the sign of the cross. I, I hope it does that because that will shock the crypto community, the whole world. It will make everybody come back into crypto and be like, oh, wow, that means any coin can do that. That's what we want, okay? As long as, if it stays down here, kind of means the dream's dead. So it, you might ask me as well, you go, okay, there are a lot of coins that were released during this time. They went to zero. At least this went sideways. And I'll say, true, that's true. So many coins are down since 2013. At least, you know, this is sideways. Okay, I'll give you that. But you want to look at the gold standards. So you can look at ETH BTC. This is Ethereum to Bitcoin. Have you noticed Ethereum to Bitcoin, it's up 40x, so 4,000% against Bitcoin. I think the ICO was even lower here. Yes, the ICO was actually around here, down this price. You're about 88x. So have a look at that. Look at this difference, like up. You see this? Up. It's gone up. It's 80x versus zero. Ethereum and Vitalik and his giant brain that can barely fit in his skull, massive value add for crypto. Enormous. It's the unicorn. You know it is. <laughs> Everyone's making EVMs. You know it's the formula. They've made something juicy. Let's go look at another one. Have you heard of a coin called Doge? You can look at Doge BTC. You're like, oh my God, this is shocking. This is shocking. So by the way, anyone puts you on a linear chart, you're not going to see anything, all right? By the way, it's even still up on your linear chart, even though it's hanging by a thread. But look at this. Yes, on a log chart, Doge is actually up. Wow. Have a look at that. 6X. Wow, that's actually giant, you know? So, But these are rare. These are rare. I think they're basically it. They're basically it. The other coin that you can go look from the past is Litecoin. But, I mean, it's like, look, yeah, this says everything about Litecoin. I thought this was going to do much better than what it is. And look, it's just... It, it was doing its ranges, and I thought it was going to do more ranges, but look at this, just absolute poop zone. I hope, by the way, this just goes up. I hope something shocks us and something big like that happens. Wouldn't that be absolute fanatical? So this is just showing you the truth. Now, there is an also a, a bigger hard mode you can chart against if you want to see the real chart of what you're holding, the real chart. But, you know, I also want to show you Hex. If you just type in Hex BTC on TradingView, don't click anywhere. Press enter on your keyboard. You'll get a super secret Easter egg chart. It's actually, I made a tweet post on it. It's a super secret Easter egg and you can't find it anywhere else. You change it to logarithmic and you will see this is a big, you'll see it's a big channel. You'll see here, up here, channel, up here, channel, and it's going to go up again. Hopefully, hopefully. So this is also going up. This is it's very hard to get these charts to sometimes line up, but this is this is giant from whatever it is, you know. <laughs> oh, it's 122x, 12,150%. Let's go, baby. Have a look at that. Compare that to what XRP's delivered for 10 years. So, you know, but hey, Hex might be a gold standard. We might be looking at a gold standard. So I'm going to go easy on them for now because, hey, at least you haven't lost all your money. At least you still have your money. You haven't lost Bitcoin value if you're in from the floor. If you're in from higher, yes, you have. You've been destroyed. So if you want to make anything difficult, like if you want to ask me, what do I chart against? I don't chart against Bitcoin. I go super hard difficult mode. That's what we're here to do. US dollar is easy mode. Throw it out. Bitcoin mode is, that should be your gold standard for medium difficulty, all right? If you want to go on extreme mode, you chart it against Ethereum and you want to see what's really going on here. Have a look at that, minus 94%. Have you ever seen a poopy fart noise like that? You can actually just smell it and see it. Now, I hope, oh man, I hope it does this. 
that would shock everyone. But when you look at the numbers it requires to do that, that means it's got to go in 9 or 10x. XRP has to go to 200 billion market cap and Ethereum does not moving. So something wildly shocking has happened to the XRP community if it does that. So sometimes it helps as well to look at just the other historical charts because, yeah, this is this might be it. And this is why it's nuts, friends. You can't just expect that your coin is eventually going to make it. Like, I know bag holding, we knock it sometimes, but it's tough, man. Look at this. Like, look what you missed out in this period. This was DeFi season, Uniswap, all the DeFi, Chainlinks, Mooning. I'm not saying you should have caught them. I'm just saying your mind should have started opening. Now you have 2021. You missed all the dogs and the altcoin mania. What's coming next? What if this does this? Are you prepared to do that? Are you prepared? Because what if the next crypto tech innovation comes here and it's still going downwards? XRP against Ethereum. I hope this thing turns around for them. I really do. But that's very, very, very hard to, to beat, you know? So I would even, what I would do is I would chart Hex BTC over ETH BTC. I don't know if I've got the correct chart. This might be actually, I don't know if I've done it correctly. But yes, you can see it's very hard to consistently beat ETH. Very, very, very hard, friends. But hey, isn't this beautiful, man? Hex. I think this is Hex ETH. Hex BTC. Yes, this should be Hex ETH. Do you know how hard it is to do this? This, this is freaking nuts, friends. This is, you can just do these, cute, do these cute little channels and go, wow, they're bull flags. This is how you just create them. Like, wow, wow. Honestly, you can't control anything. You can't really time anything off it. You just, you just sit there and you're just like, you're just praying. You're praying this thing just keeps going that's all we're praying for that's all we're doing all right there is no so i have this still drawn here we're praying praying fingers crossed so if you ask me hey if hex eth goes to the top of this channel what would it be oh man that's a lot of gains i don't even want to think about this this is 15x against oh my god this is 15x against ethereum which this is a big number by the way that means if ethereum does a 4x, yes, and you're doing 15 times that. That means hex does 60x, which is big. That's like a $3.60 hex. That, that's, that is, you're cooking with gas here. You're really cooking with gas. The stove's on, it's burning. You got to wear your mittens. So have a think about the charts I just showed you. And look, I'm not going to go too hard on XRP community. They've gone through a lot. They were down after, they're down 90% after five and a half years. Ripple's still dumping on them. I don't know what value they've added. And I'm not here to rub it in anyone's face or anything. I've shown you the gold standard of crypto because there are 55,000 other coins that aren't around, but XRP is still there. They're still there. Religious cult, good conferences. They all still believe good on them, right behind them. But I showed you the gold standard. If you don't know about the gold standards, now you do. That's why you watch me. Like, subscribe, bell button, all. At least you've learned something. Once again, main thing you learned is, all right, you want to know the real truth about the coin you hold, the asset you hold. You chart it against Ethereum. The truth right here, chart against Ethereum. You want to play this game on hard mode? W why do I say hard mode? It means, like, if you chart in USD, your coin might go up, like, 7x. You're like, wow, I made 700%. That's amazing. But then you chart against Bitcoin, it might only go like 3x. And you're like, oh, well, you know, I made 3x on my Bitcoin. That's great. Then you chart against Ethereum. And you'll see maybe you only went up like 1.5x, 1.7. You see what I mean? The numbers are getting lower and lower. And because Ethereum is just being burned to hell and super deflationary, every Ethereum counts. People just don't understand it yet. But that's the game you got to play. You got to play as if you're living in the future, but you're acting today on it. And that's why you're a baby doll, baby cake, sugar, sugar pie, and you're a buttercup. You've learned how to chart against Ethereum and why it's so important. And now you know what's grifting you and what isn't. Like, subscribe, or button, or tell mom and dad that you love them.